Okay, so this is one about uh, desertification, um, where the land is turned more into desert, where the, the soil is so poor that there's not really any um, decaying organic matter in there, it's mainly just rock or sand if you like. Um, notice it's one S for desert, don't put two S's in, that's dessert, and that's to do with cakes and custard. So desertification, about gradually changing things to become more uh, desert-like. And in particular this happened in a region of the Sahara called the Sahel in Africa. Um, now it never used to be a particular problem. Um, the, the people who learned the Maasai um, tribes and the, the similar people that we came across the Maasai um, before as a, an example of a, a closed loop ecosystem. What used to happen is these um, tribes used to move their herds of cattle around. So the cattle never used to stay in one place and eat all the crops and the grass and things. It was always moving on. Um, because they weren't staying in one place for too long, they weren't cutting down um, lots and lots of trees. As a result, the trees stayed there and they acted as a windbreak. Why is that important? If it's very windy, your soil can blow away, which isn't a good, a th good thing. And they would also stabilise the soil, as long as you've got trees there, remember stabilising the soil, keeping moisture, decaying organic matter in there, and also providing um, somewhere to, to shelter and things from, from the heat. So. By not cutting down the trees, that helped prevent desertification. Um, one of the things that they, they used to do as well, they still do, is you would dig a small pit into the ground, um, and when there was bits of dead plants and things, when you'd, you'd taken your, your uh, crops down, you would fill the pit with these things, and then when you came back next year, this would have been broken down, it's nice compost by now, so you'd have somewhere you could plant your crops in. Um, and that was something that was done by these wandering tribes, and it was very effective for, for what it did. Now, the problem started to come in the 1970s when there was droughts, 1970s and 1980s. Now, droughts have happened throughout history. The problem is that because the population of the Earth is increasing, um, every year, every time there's a new drought, it's worse and worse because there are now more people um, relying on, on the rains to come. So although these conditions have uh, occurred before, it's, it's getting worse and worse, and this is when desertification becomes more and more of a problem. So the, the modern communities around the Sahel, a lot of them become more and more settled. And once you've got settlements, and you get towns and, and larger villages and things, um, resources suddenly become a lot more exploited. So you start to get over-exploitation of resources. What kind of things are we talking about? Well we could be talking here about overgrazing. So rather than your cattle <coughs> excuse me, uh, wandering around, they will stay in one place, so they will tend to eat all the available uh, vegetation. Of course that's going to mean there's less uh, vegetation around to act as windbreaks, stabilise the soil and so on. Um, you will also get a pressure to produce more food, so you want to do things that will increase your yield, which really means uh, intensive farming. And intensive farming is the model that's used in um, Western countries, which would use things like there's a lot of colour today, um, herbicides to kill off uh, weeds, pesticides, um, of course, which can get into the food chain and cause bioaccumulation. You've got fertilisers, um, which again, you know, all of these things cost money. Yes, you increase your yield. But once you've started doing this, you then, you, you're locked into it really, you've got to keep doing it to keep the, the yields up. Um, because it tends to, to damage your soil, as soon as you start doing intensive farming, the soil tends to get um, used up a lot, which is why you have to keep putting fertilisers back in. Uh, and so what's happened is, if, if these things fail again, if there's a, a failure of the, of the drought, you suddenly have very, very poor soil and, and you've got a lot of problems. Um, and it, it's this settlement really, when you had the um, groups of people who would wander around, it didn't really happen. So desertification is a problem that's going to increase as population increases. Um, one of the things that, that they're trying to do at the moment is to try and bring back some of the traditional practices where the people who um, know how the crops and how the food would grow there and this kind of thing like making the pits that was a traditional practice so they're trying to bring those back and also what we call native species so plants that would normally grow in these conditions which are well adapted and the botanical gardens down in Kew in London is a part of this and what they're doing is collecting seeds they've got things called seed banks 
and they will collect those so there's uh, even if they, they perhaps go extinct certain plant or certain crop goes extinct in this region we've got somewhere where these seeds are being stored and we can get them back into the environment uh, and reintroduce them as a way to try and counteract these problems of intensive farming.